and it took me to maybe my high school years. You know, we know what Islam says about dating and things of that nature. And when you're in the NBA, when you come out of that culture of dating and, and doing those things, and then now that, now that you become a Muslim, you definitely have to be more disciplined. And the lifestyle of the NBA is such that people are constantly coming at you all the time, and in particular women. And so those are usually, you know, those are usually, those were the toughest uh, struggles for me. And that's why I was blessed throughout that my career to constantly when I would go from uh, arena to arena, city to city, I would have brothers, they would meet me. And most of my nights in other cities, we would spend in the hotel room just dealing with issues. And when the night is over, it'd be so late. So even if you did want to contemplate, Shaitan was trying to knock, knock at your door, it was too late to do anything. And, and that helped build my discipline throughout the year. So alhamdulillah. I've been reading lately on the importance of knowledge, the importance of information. And I think one of the things that I didn't have when I was coming up is how you can take all of this information that only comes from Allah, obviously, and how you can unify it. You know, so many times we have specializations, you know, in terms of knowledge, and we don't have the, the overall picture. And everywhere in the Quran, I think when you read about those who have attained the faith or when you're dealing with knowledge, Allah always backs it up with and do the righteous deeds. So when you combine what you learn and, and with the action, like the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi is recorded to have said that act upon what you know and Allah will teach you the rest. You have to, if you just sit on that knowledge, because knowledge is a moving force, it's, it's an active force. And uh, I was listening to a brother actually and he was saying that Mostly every word in the Arabic language is derived from a verb. Verb shows action. So when you take this knowledge, and even though you may not know what the outcome will be, but you know, look, this is what Allah has given me. I believe it. I'm going to go. Doors begin to open. You get stronger. You develop confidence. And I would say definitely learn as much as you can, but as you learn, apply. And you build, you build strength and character like that. It helps you to become stronger. I believe reading, studying your history is very important. Uh, it gives you a sense of belonging, a, a sense of who you are. Um, and when, you, when we allow others to um, interpret our history for us, we're always susceptible to their interpretations of who we are, what our expectations or our possibilities are. So it's important to, I think, for that reason, uh, or even if it's alone, to, to study history. Um, because it's an encouragement when you learn about the accomplishments of those who came before you. Allah speaks about it in the Quran. You know, there's a, there's a quote that I, I keep in my kitchen in reference to legacies, and it's, uh, it's, it's by George Washington Carver. And he said, no one has the right to come into this world and go out of it without leaving behind distinct and legitimate reasons for having passed through it. And I think, you know, Allah has given us this life, and who are we to waste it? And so we all have a responsibility to leave something, and hopefully leaving something uh, worth leaving, in a sense. For those who are consider considering reverting, I would say definitely continue to study, to analyze, make sure this is something that you're for sure about, that you're just not jumping into it uh, without thinking, because all through the Quran, Allah tells us to think, to analyze, to ponder, not to be blind, blindly following, because a lot of people, they just jump into anything uh, they're the ones that usually ends up falling out quick, quicker. Um, uh, it's a learning process. It's, everything's in stages. Um, be patient with that process. Uh, be sincere about it. And I believe that if you're sincere about your efforts to want to know Allah, then uh, he'll, he'll, he'll uh, increase that awareness and, and, and you'll reach to where you want to be. Uh, and it'll be consistent. Um, but be patient with it. Uh, but for me, it's the no amount of fame, no amount of fortune. This is the best decision that I've ever made in my life. And uh, the most important decision, because I tell people all the time, choosing a faith uh, or how you think about Allah is an issue of life and death. This is nothing to take lightly. So you really want to make sure that this is, you know, you understand this, and, because it's a lifestyle change. And uh, it's a beautiful change, though. So, um...